Hey guys, it's Perry. Today we're playing some Belveth in Bronze Silver. Uh, we're continuing the series of how you climb low, low elo and you buy full clearing. So if you're below Emerald, watch this entire series. It gives you a lot of insights on what you should be doing if you're in the gutters in low elo, okay? So, um, Belveth, I don't rank Belveth high on my tier list, but I'm going to show you guys a few different champions as to how you play them and what you can do to climb on these champions, okay? So again, the first thing is to really be able to do your clear efficiently. That's step number one. If you can't have an efficient clear, you will never will have an efficient game, okay? Uh, that's always the first step. Your clear needs to be hella good, okay? All right, I'm gonna do my wolves here all the way down. Okay, my top laner is doing good. My mid laner is doing good. So it's a really standard game so far. Hopefully nothing changes any time. Low elo never fails us to surprise me. Never, ever, 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 ever. So again, I'm full clearing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go two points Q. I don't actually know if it's faster on Belveth, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because uh, I, I I just think like that's the mindset. Even if it's not 100% accurate, it's just the full clear mindset, okay? Of going going multiple points in queue because I'm not gonna be ganking anyone. So even if you did it low key, just to like just to force yourself to, to full clear, it's like actually good. Okay, he executes and then dies. Absolutely wonderful. All right, this is low elo for you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna continue full clearing. And then I'm going to play for the bot crab. And then I'm going to look to do uh, a recall straight to the top side. So you'll see that's, that's the exact same game plan I have every single game. I'm not overstaying. I'm not ganking lanes. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just clearing and then looking to make a play uh, after, my, after my clear. So I'm just going to leave this be. I'm going to go to the crab. I'm going to danger ping bot side. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to hit this down. Okay, I want to hit it down because their Udyr could technically come from the bush. So I want to just finish this quickly and then take my recall. I'm going to ping everyone here. I'm going to just instantly back. I'm going to buy Kraken Slayer first item. I'm going to buy this here. I'm going to go straight to the top side. Okay, we're going to go Kraken Slayer. And the next item I'm going to go in silver. Um, what would silver... Maybe, maybe Bork. I think Bork is a silver item to go. Okay. Um, let me just double check real quick. I'm just checking what, what a silver player should go here. Um, Sir Stridebreaker actually. So the Udyr goes top lane. He ganks top side. Sure. My god. Yeah. Wow. He's figuring it. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm. I, I'll leave him unping. I'll leave him. I'll leave him for a little bit. And then we'll probably just have to mute him. Because this is. This is unreal. Like. Um, yeah. I, I'm actually just gonna mute him. No. If you're gonna ping me like that. You just deserve to get muted. That's it. Don't give any, any, don't let these guys like get into your head at all. You're gonna ping like an absolute psychopath, you get muted. So my mid laner has a kill, and their Udyr is overstaying on the map really, really hard, okay? Yo, that was a Laughing fucking face. loud ass emo sound. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. I don't know why that bugged so hard there. Um, we saw Udyr run into the pits, so we have to really think about stopping them from doing the dragon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ping on the way, on the way. And what's going to happen is my, my mid laner needs to teleport and come stop this guy from doing the drake. I'm going to ping, 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 ping. And I'm going to make sure everyone knows that we need to go fight right now. <laughs> okay, my Aurelia is still here. My LeBlanc is still here, so I could have waited a little bit longer. I thought my champion would be a bit stronger my champion's not that strong all good our leblanc is still here to stop them and we still have good farm it's not a problem it sort of blows but my but but it's it's not the end of the world i could have played that fight a lot better that was my mistake that was my bad okay i still want to play for this dragon as much as i can the thing is right now um my uh my camps are up i'm gonna go back to my camps i'm gonna farm for level six okay Let's not let's not progress the game too much. It's it's even better. I died level one or I died I died level um level five guys. Even better. Bad play from me. Great. Okay, no flashes. No sums there. 
Okay, so how do we come back in from this game? Well, hopefully I can show you guys. Okay, my body needs to recall. I'm gonna continue farming. I have that bot crab I can potentially play for. I'm gonna walk to this bot crab, play for the bot crab, and continue working with my mid laner because my mid laner has the one kill. I'm dead, my top laner has died twice. It's not too pretty what's going on so far, but it's all good at the end of the day because we have a lot of farm. Okay. That's the name of the game. You farm at the ends of the earth. I need to flash early there because the, the Uyr is a bit too close. Because my bot lane is not winning at all, what I'm going to do is instead of fighting for the dragon, I'm going to go do the grubs. Really important grub streak, guys. You want to hit the first grub out, then bring them together once they're in a straight line. Then on most most junglers, you can do all of these really easily now because you have... Uh, holy shit. Uh, because you have uh, AoE spells. I'm going to quickly heal from this. And then continue trying to do the uh, camp here. I need to use my smite. Heal. Heal from this real quick. I'm playing fucking Matrix. But I'm playing a very hard game. Um, I've dodged the fucking rub. Okay. And instead of invading, because Udyr is in the bot side, I'm going to go back to my camps and play a very normal game. I don't even care. Hey, they want to do this. No problem. I'm going to go farm my camps. That's my priority. I'm going to get to my first item. By not even invading or doing anything too crazy, I'm going to just simply farm my camps. That's the way I want to play this. Okay. I don't want to overcomplicate the game at all. That's the way I want I want you guys to see how you're playing too, okay? Don't make the game complicated whatsoever. If there's an objective you can't win, you don't win. You go play for the objective you can win, which is on the on the grubs instead this, this time. Okay, I want that dragon, but if I can't get it, I can't get it, no problem. I'm going to continue clearing... And then I'm going to play for my first item spike. Okay. Now I'm farming, farming, farming. My item should be complete very soon. 800 gold. I'll farm my bot side, recall, and then restart the map and continue farming. Okay. I have no, like no, no real winning lanes, except for my mid laner is doing all right. So I need to just keep that in mind that my mid laner is someone I can play around, I want to play around, if there's an opportunity to work around my mid laner. That's the person I want to play with. Okay. Bot lane is someone I can potentially work around too. They're not losing. Top laner is, is someone I don't want to work around at all. I even, In fact, I want to ping top lane because there's a good chance that their guy is coming. I'm going to continue farming for my item. I'm going to ping on the way here because I want to do the bot crab. I'm going to use one Q here. Hit this hit this plant. Go in the bot side. We're going to get blown the fuck up. All good. No worries. Yo, Kimikaze, thank you for the $10 dono. Nocturne next. Will do. Alright, so we're going to play Nocturne after this game, guys. I'm going to sit, search for some camps. If there's nothing up, there's nothing up. I'm also going to watch mid lane, see if I can help my mid laner. I have my item really soon, so I simply want to stay on the map and see if I can impact the lane while I have my um I, while I have my my gold almost. Okay, the reason why I'm staying on the map here is because I want to stay again for my item. Now that I have my item, I'm going to e easily just recall now and then go and continue playing top to bot lane. Very very simple game. Not stressed at all. I'm playing for my item. That's when I make plays. My top laner is dead again. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to continue clearing top to bot lane. Well, maybe he lives. Never mind. I don't know why I jinxed that. I shouldn't have looked. We're going to play for the next objective. So Herald's uh, grubs are coming up soon. We're going to play for the grubs. Right now, if the Urgot hits this turret, I will stop him. If he doesn't, then all good. I'm going to walk here just to be close. Just in case he does hit it. He does, okay. He has no flash. If we saw the fight from earlier, we would notice that. I'm gonna Q over, Q over again. I can smite, land W here, E, auto, auto. Uh, fucking fuck this up. Okay, my autos should just kill him. Champions OP. I'm gonna. L Where is this guy going? The hell? He doesn't want. 
He doesn't want his wave. Okay. All good. I'm gonna farm now. I'm gonna farm for my onto my next objective, which is when, guys, my next objective is grub. So it's coming up in 28 seconds. So I'm gonna farm my camps until the next objective is alive. He's gonna die one more time. Absolutely wonderful. And then we're going to still play for this objective. What I'm gonna do is my mid laner is strong, so I'm gonna come hover my mid laner. As I'm hovering my mid laner, I'm gonna fight through mid, then for the herald. I'm gonna or the grubs. I'm gonna check Udir's HP. Consider how 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 much conditions he has. Okay. This is perfect. And that's how we create an advantage with. I keep fucking his cannons. With a winning lane, not a losing lane. And now with my mid lane advantage, I'm gonna simply pull the grubs, same grubs trick, hit this one, bring them out, and then do them in a straight line, and it's gonna be much easier for us to do. I'm gonna save my spells here, just in case the Udyr comes. Play ring around the rosy with them a little bit and then finish the objective now okay we're also waiting for our leblanc to take the fight before we fight there i'm waiting for my leblanc now i'm gonna take my camps and look to recall and play for the next objective too the next objective being dragon and you can see i'm farming 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 i'm taking the right objective the easy objective and i'm still gonna be insanely insanely fed even though I'm not getting a shit ton of kills. So Stridebreaker is the next item. I'm going to buy HP. It's a big thing in low elo. Actually in every elo. People think buying more damage means they'll have a better chance of winning. Buy HP so you can live longer, guys. Living longer is so much more valuable. Even me, I fucking oftentimes get myself in really bad positions. And I'm about to die and kill myself. So I'm noticing here I want to play with Irelia or my LeBlanc. So I'm going to ping my LeBlanc. And make sure my LeBlanc knows that I want to work on this. Also looking at their MF, their MF is really low, so it's really, really easy for me to secure this dragon here. Now that I have my first item, what am I going to do? I'm going to play like an absolute demon. I'm going to play like an absolute demon god right now. Invade everything here. Fight literally as much as I can. Now I'm going to go do his camps and just continue snowballing the game. What do you guys think the next objective is in the game right now? It is simply... The easy objective of Herald. Okay, so I'm gonna do this bot camps quickly and then go into the top side as fast as I can, and then I'm gonna play for this Herald. While I'm at it, um, I'm going to ping and let everyone know that hey, this is top lane. Uh, I want to play for this, and uh, my top laner just dies again. It's all good. I'm gonna run to the top side. This Urgot, if he goes for this turret, I'm watching him. I'm watching you, bro. I'm watching you. If you go for that turret, I'm gonna come. Okay, I'm gonna come kill you because it's very, very easy kill while he's attacking a turret. And I'm gonna take this guy's wave because he does not deserve it whatsoever. And he might start inting me afterwards, but it's all good. Because I'll take his wave because it's good timing for me to take his wave. If he starts taking my camps, it's no problem, man. Take my camps. Take them, bro. Take them because he'll unlock my tempo around the map. That's the difference, okay? If he takes my camps, I'll have more time to do things around the map. Okay, we're gonna do this objective together. And what's the next thing we wanna play for? We wanna play with our winning lanes for what? For objectives, okay? Next objective is turrets. Although, I also am really close to my power spike. So, I wanna play for my power spike as well, which is my next item. Um, it's really, really soon. So I actually don't need to do anything on the map right this moment. I can simply farm camps and get my next item. I don't need to invade him. I don't need to find anything. I want to farm. Okay. I want to farm for my item. Then I want to play like a psychopath. When I have my item completed. Okay. So I'm going to farm, 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 farm. Because it's really easy to farm for this. I'm going to just keep farming. And then when I have my item, it's time to destroy the map. Guys, you'll see. When I get my item, I'm going to run around the map like an absolute lunatic. And I'm going to fuck everyone. Okay. They're not going to like it. It's going to be non... Okay, no, I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to finish this camp here. And I'm going to finish the red buff. The moment I have my item, I do not need to clear my Krugs. I just want to do this. 
and go straight into the top side and end the game just like that, okay? I have my item, really, really easy game to win. Completed, we go straight into the top side now. I do want to work with my LeBlanc, but because of simply how strong I am, I can 1v9 the game. That's just the type of champion I am. I'm playing Belbeth. I want to ping this guy to try and stay. He doesn't stay, no problem. He wants to recall, I got you. I am so strong here, I want to fight this guy. I want to fight everything, any and everything here. Now we've killed that guy, now I want to play for the top turret. Top side, I'm going to look for his top camps. I'm going to look to like dive mid lane here, I'm going to do whatever I want. The rift is fucking mine, bro. Like, low key, the rift is mine. Look at me, I'm an absolute psychopath, bro. Do whatever I want. I do whatever the fuck I want. Like an absolute demon. Like a demon god. Why am I feeling so confident to do that? Because I have my items. Look at my items, look at theirs. So I feel like a king, so I'll do that when I have my items. Okay? I need to be a little careful though, because I'm low on HP. When I'm low on HP, I want to play a little safe. Okay? So I'm not even going to be- I'm not even going to be part of that fight. Because I want to farm camps, farm waves, and make things easy. Now that I- uh, now that I've made my play ready, it's time to cut losses, make sure I do not die, and play for guaranteed resources. These are the fundamentals right here, okay? Play for the, the risk-free play until you get your next item. So now, my next item, I'm gonna buy Black Cleaver really soon, 2,000 gold. What I can do here is I can pressure the bot wave, okay? See if I can maybe one-shot this turret here because I have five grubs and I have my, my void, my void dummy, dummies, and play really, 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 really aggressively. Again, because I have my item, I don't want to play too aggressively. If 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 I can't, I get the I get the turrets. Amazing! I can get one more wave and then complete my item. Okay. At the same time, I'm thinking about this next Drake, and that's what Harold can do for you there, guys. I have, that turret gives you 800 gold. If you guys did not know. Now that I have my item, I'm gonna insta recall, play for third item while that guy's barely getting a second. This is how you get 10 CS per minute. Ah, oh, motherfucker! Along with. All the objectives, and I'm extremely fed, no one can stop me. Okay. We're gonna go straight for the bot side, and after the dragon, what's the next objective? It's the top turret, okay? So I'm gonna go straight into the bot lane. My teammates are already setting up, this is perfect. I'm gonna ping on the way. We're going to do this objective easily. What the? What the hell was that? Oh. I mean, what the fuck was that? Okay, now that we've gotten this objective, what we can do now is think about the next thing, which is top turret. The thing is, my, my teammates have not gotten the top wave just yet, so I'm going to try and communicate with them to tell them, hey, get the top turret. The top turret, dummies. Maybe this guy comes to face check me here. Okay, all good. Now we're going to go into the top side. Mine, mine, fuck you, it's mine. Because of how fed I am, I'm just gonna be, be a greedy boy. And again, I'm gonna just stay in the top side and take control in the top lane. Look at this guy. What do you think you're doing? He actually took it from me. Alright, he took it from me. You're, you wanna play this game, Jinx? You wanna play this game, Jinx? Then your midwave is mine. Okay? You gotta just outsmart your teammates. That's the, that's the trick. You have to outsmart them. He went for those Krugs? Fine, I'll go for your next wave, bro. Okay, I need to play a little safe here. Okay, this is some super... Super play here. I'm gonna restart the play. Danger ping, danger ping, and then go ping the, go ping the objective here. Play in their top side, control the top lane, have opportunity to do the objective, the Baron. At the same time, I'm playing for this top turret. If they face check me because they're trying to take control over the map, then we can simply kill them and win the game. Also, I'm fucking five levels on this guy. Bronze never fails to amuse me, guys. This low elo shit, this this is fucking incredible. This is hitting, this is fucking eye opening. This is fucking eye opening, man. All right, I'm gonna recall now. I don't need to play any aggressively at all. I can just recall, play a really safe game, play a very 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 chill game. I can go back and do some camps, even though I don't have to. Okay, no. 
I'm not gonna do camps. I'm gonna teach you guys. I wanna teach you guys. I'm gonna go for the stop wave. I'm gonna be with the stop wave, and I'm gonna play for this turret. Okay? You don't need camps to do that. You don't need any of these camps. Fuck these camps. I'm gonna go straight to the top lane and play here. All right. We're gonna summon the, the little um, patience and then go straight to the top side and play to end the game here. Look at this. Get the patience going. This is how we get 800 more gold right here. Did you guys see that? I was doing 25 in auto for a little bit. And because I have so many items and I'm so strong, I'm just creating so much pressure on the map here, and they can't really do anything about it. Now that I guess the long time to push, Jinx time to push, and I'm just happy. I'm just controlling the map. Oh, what's up, Heimer? How you doing, bro? Okay, so now look. Now my Jinx gets to push. My my, my Lux, uh, LeBlanc gets to push. And I'm playing very safe with my HP. Now this guy needs to just push mid lane. Alright, if Jinx wants to come here, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna get the stop wave first. Again, when you are this fed, you can play like a demon king, okay? Like you're one of the anime characters. You're, you're one of the anime like demon king characters, you know? When you have your items. Okay? You gotta have good fighting though. You gotta, you gotta be like a little clean with it though, okay? But, but if I don't have my items here... The fight will be like impossible to win. It'll be so hard to win, but I got my items, and I'm a I'm a bit of a smurf, so that does that may that may or may not help in low elo. If I want to play a little more naturally, I would just sit here and wait and just use Baron minions to siege while my teammates siege as well. But again, I'm just emphasizing how how much crazy shit you can do when you have items and when you're pretty good mechanically. Okay. Yo, I'll bog you. Thank you for the sub, bro. Yo, let me eat. Let me eat. No, I'm gonna fucking die? I don't even know what's happening, bro. Alright, GG. I don't even know what's happening at the end there. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that, like, 10 CS per minute game. Pushing the right objective when you lose on the side. My top winner absolutely loses his mind. My support absolutely losing their mind. Happens. You get those games all the time. You just have to ignore them and go work with your winning teammates. You guys saw how I thought about LeBlanc every single fight.